welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a great day today so in today's video as you guys would have seen by the title i'm going to be showing you guys my updated everyday makeup routine and this one is definitely going to be a little bit different to my usual makeup routines it's definitely switched up a lot as you can see i already have brows done these are not my usual go-to brows hence why they look a little bit different but you guys will see that in another video either before or not long after this video so look out for that but if you guys would like to see the products i use in my everyday makeup routine then just keep watching also side note yes i am sat in my dressing gown and my dumbo pjs because we are quarantined and i am not going anywhere so why would i not just sit and chill in my pjs you know so don't hate for that we're also joined by some friends today who wanted to join the party apparently they were not invited but they just turned up anyway okay so to prime my face i use the barry m color correcting primer for anti-redness pore minimizing smoothing mattifying effects i don't love this primer i don't hate it it's not one that i can see myself repurchasing as you can see it is pretty much empty i am just trying to use it up so that is what we are using today and it is what i've been using for the past couple of weeks it leaves my skin feeling really really nice and nice and smooth doesn't leave it with any kind of tack though i must say so i don't really know if it helps with the longevity of my makeup but it definitely gives me a smooth base to start with so next up in my routine i'm just going to carve out these brows with my concealer the concealer that i'm using today is the maybelline superstay full coverage concealer in the shade 5 ivory and i'm just going to carve out these brows i'm going to quickly jump off camera and do that because it's so boring but i shall be back with fresh looking brows okay so i'm back and looking crazy as always so and now i'm gonna jump in with foundation and the foundation that i have been using is the maybelline super Stay 24 hour full coverage conceal concealer foundation um and we're just going to apply this i'm literally almost out of this to the point where i can't even use the pump anymore excuse me i don't know if you can see my lid isn't even on properly yeah but i had to pull the lid off anyway so i pulled the lid off and just put it on the back of my hand this foundation is so many people's like cult favorites i love it i'm definitely going to be buying uh, another one i just want to use this one up so that i can go through my other foundations and decide which ones i really really like and i know i want to repurchase Okay, and then the usual damp my sponge with the matte fix setting spray from revolution and just bounce this foundation into my skin even more okay and now i'm just going to go back in with my concealer that i used earlier and obviously just use that under my eyes I love this concealer by the way i have two of them which is why i'm trying to use this one up because this one is the one that i opened but i love this concealer so now i'm just going to set my face i'm going to use the revolution lace setting powder under my eyes and then i'm going to use the maybelline stay matte press powder on the rest of my face okay and now that all of our face is set i'm just going to take a smaller brush and wipe this bake off and now i'm just going to set my face with my setting spray that i have lost apparently so this is the hyaluronic fix setting spray from revolution and i'm just going to use this to set my face and I'm just going to leave this to soak in for a little. So the blusher that I'm going to be using next is the Milani Luminoso blush. And we are literally going to put this all over our face. You shall see what I mean in a second. So I'm just going to take my usual brush and start applying this to the usual cheek area. And 
then I'm also going to take it across the bridge of my nose and then a little bit on the tip of my nose too and then also to my forehead just like so just to add like a subtle flush of colour and then next up we are going to add some faux freckles so i'm just going to use my usual bronzer so this is the collection bronze glow matte bronzer and i'm just going to use a teeny tiny brush from zoena so this is a fine liner brush and i'm basically just gonna get some bronzer on the end of this brush and i'm just gonna draw little dots and i'm not being neat with this at all because obviously freckles aren't neat and then I'm just going to go over the top of some of them just to make them look a little bit more dark and a little bit more like prominent. It's kind of like that. So I don't know how well you guys can see because obviously they are really subtle because obviously a lot of freckles are quite subtle so I like them to look subtle. But that is how I'm going to leave that. Okay, and then next up is highlight, and I'm going to be taking the Revolution Ultra Pro, 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 Pro Glow Palette, and I'm going to be taking this light kind of pinky looking shade, and I'm just going to use that as my highlight today. And then I'm just going to quickly pat over those freckles a little bit just to make sure they're all blended into the foundation and they're not just going to come off all day and now I'm going to move on to eyeshadow and the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using today is the Revolution Reloaded Iconic Fever palette and I'm just going to go in with the one shade which is going to be this one here and I'm going to take that all over the lid so as you can hopefully see, I just pack on the colour at first and then I just blend it out when there is less product on the brush and I just blow it out a little bit and diffuse it around the edges and I'm just doing it nice and rounded like my eye shape basically. Okay, so that is eyeshadow done. As you can see, it looks like I put a little effort in but it really doesn't take that long, like it's one shade whack it all over the lid, blend it out and you've got less product on your brush. So easy but looks nice, you know? So now I'm just going to set my face for the last time. So I'm just going to go back in with this setting spray. Oh shoot, I forgot to do inner corner highlight. Damn, right. Um, Usually before I do the setting spray step, I do inner corner and brow bone highlight. So I'm just very, very quickly going to do that now. I think. Oh, it's there. So this is the Ofra Glazed Donut Highlighter. I love this because it is like a pure brilliant white and um, it just looks stunning on the inner corner. Love this for the inner corner and brow bone. And now I'm going to go in with mascara and this bit is definitely going to shock you. The mascara that I've been using non-stop at the minute is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. I'm not going to lie, I was truthfully trying to use this up because I just didn't want to waste it. But now that it is kind of like dried out a lot, it doesn't transfer underneath my, on my lower lash line. So I can actually get away with wearing it all day. So this is what I'm going to apply today. mascara on my face don't worry about it i'll sort it out <laughs> so then to finish off this look i'm gonna go in with my essence shine on color up wait hold up i said that completely wrong now to finish <laughs> this makeup look i'm gonna use the essence color up lipstick in the shade shine on five and this is like a balmy kind of a lipstick so it's like it nourishes your lips throughout the day I think they changed the packaging of this, but I'm hoping I can still find a link for it, like down below, because this is stunning. Okay, 
okay and that is what that looks like so as you can see it's just like a um, it's kind of sheer but it has a lot of um coverage as well but it's just like a balm so truthfully it won't stay on like all day but it will last like a really long time and it nourishes your lips as well throughout the day which i really really like when i'm like at work or whatever i absolutely hate the feel of my lips getting like dried up i like a matte lipstick so i've honestly started wearing stuff like this a lot more because it just they just feel so nice like it just feels like you have like a lip balm on and yeah i love it and this is literally all i do on an everyday basis so a lot of the products that i used in this video are products that i know are gonna last all day and i know i can rely on to stay put all day some of them are products that i am just trying to use up but they are still products that i know will last as well so so that is the end of this makeup look let me know what you guys think it is obviously I know it's a lot more makeup than a lot of people will wear but i'm the kind of person where if i'm gonna wear makeup i want to wear makeup like i'm not just gonna apply a little bit of mascara and i'm good to go like i just i would sooner not wear makeup if i'm being honest with you but let me know what you think of this look let me know what you guys do as your everyday kind of makeup routine is it even more than what i do or is it like more of a mineral min minimal minimal <laughs> i'm like okay a minimal makeup look i would love to know as always i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for joining me until the end i'm sorry this one wasn't really like a chit chatty video it was more of just like a tutorial kind of video but as always i really do hope that you enjoyed it don't forget to like and comment if you did enjoy it let me know that you enjoyed the video and if you do maybe just maybe want to see a little bit more of me then don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos and i shall see you guys in the next one bye